Well, hello, I'm Dr. Wendy Burton, and I thank you for taking this opportunity to review this video prior to your first dose of the Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine. Now, I'm sure that you know more about this vaccine than any vaccine you've ever known about before, but bear with me for the next few minutes while I walk you through a few of the things we do want you to know. The first thing that you need to be aware of is that you must be well to proceed with this vaccine. Specifically, if you are unwell and have a fever of 38.5 degrees or above, it is best to postpone this for another time. The next thing we want you to know is that the Pfizer vaccine is recommended to be boosted between three and six weeks after the first shot. Please follow your clinic's protocol for rebooking and make sure you have that second appointment locked in. Now, as I filmed this on the 10th of July, 2021, more than 177 million doses of the Pfizer vaccine have been given worldwide. So with big numbers like that, we're able to see even small side effects and the Pfizer vaccine is very well tolerated, but there are side effects. So the big four won't surprise you. It's sore arm, headaches, tiredness, and muscle aches and pains. Less commonly, some people experience chills, joint aches and pains, and swelling of the arm where they had the injection. These symptoms are mild, and Panadol or Ibuprofen would be quite appropriate for treatment. About 6.4% of people felt sick enough in the days following the vaccine that they missed or would have missed a day of work or study or their routine duties. And that works out to be about one in every 16 people. So please be prepared for that. Overall, following the first Pfizer vaccine, about four people in 10 will experience side effects. After the second Pfizer vaccine, side effects are more common and we see about six in 10 who are then affected. Less common but important side effects include 10 to 15% of people getting some swelling of the lymph glands. And this is particularly relevant if you're due to have a screening mammogram in the next few weeks. It is actually recommended that screening mammograms be done either prior to the Pfizer vaccine or four to six weeks after the second dose. The final thing that I want you to know about side effects from the Pfizer vaccine is that we are watching an emerging signal for a very rare side effect, more common in young men, where there's inflammation of the heart. So specifically myocarditis or pericarditis, the symptoms of which are chest pain, shortness of breath or palpitations. If this affects you, and it usually comes on a few days after the second dose and can be up to two weeks later, please do let us know. Some people have required hospitalization and medication to reduce the inflammation, but they have recovered and recovered well. There are resources available for reporting any adverse reactions that you have, and we would encourage you to use these as we continue to monitor the safety of this vaccine. So thank you all very much for watching and I wish you well with your vaccinations.